All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duel. So, as you can clearly see, we are almost done with the Duel Monsters arc. We just got to face off against Merrick in the final face off, even though it's not. Then we skip a whole bunch of seasons and go straight to the finale of the series with Yu-Gi versus the Pharaoh. So, uh, of course, last session that we recorded, I was wondering if there was actually any DLC or what's up with that. There's plenty of DLC. There's actually bonus DLC for Duelist Kingdom, and they do have the, the dragon, the legendary dragon series too. So, you know what? Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and purchase those things, you know. I don't make much off of YouTube, but I have a little bit, I have just enough to be able to, to make the purchase with my PayPal. And, uh, you know, funnel back the money, the avenue revenue that I make off the channel back into the content so I can go ahead and give you guys that. So, uh, that means that we will get getting more legacy of the duelist. I know you guys are like, hey, I know I got a, a message and they're like, um, is, you know, vitamin Y live stream and all that. Is that done? Are we done with that? No, it's just temporarily gone. Life has been hectic. Life has been busy. I've been looking for a job. I lost my job getting a new job and I'm not sure if this new job will require me to work on the weekends you know I don't want to commit myself to something when I don't even know how hectic my life is so yeah but this weekend this specific weekend I'm actually going out of town so yeah I'm actually recording this earlier than I would usually so I can go ahead and get you guys this content so you have something for the weekend instead of just oh no live stream it's kind of impossible for me to live stream when I'm not even going to be at the computer instead you guys get actual content so let's go ahead and hop right into it so we have the final face off this is it you're playing as the Pharaoh, we're doing against evil Merrick, and uh, hopefully we'll get to go ahead and crush him. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. The time had come for the final face-off, Yugi versus Merrick, with the fate of the world hanging in the balance. I've been waiting for this moment for my entire life. Soon your infinite power will be mine. Merrick, not only will I defeat you, I'll free you from the darkness that controls you. Ha ha ha, now I'd like to see... <laughs> Oh, so, I thought it would be a little bit more dramatic. Maybe it will be more at the end. I thought we were actually going to be, you know, talking out a little bit more, but they were just like, nope, just duel. So, of course, like I see, it means new rules are in effect. I want to go second, so that means I get one more card over Merrick, and hopefully that one more card will be something very useful. Uh, this opening hand is not too great. Not too great at all. So he's playing that Revival Jam. And, uh, hopefully, maybe I can draw, like, a Summon Skull? Maybe? Uh, I got Queen's Knight. Oh, never mind. I was like, maybe do I have... No, all I have is, uh, Dark Paladin, so... Yeah, this opening hand is actually kind of crap. It really is. Like, uh, the best I could possibly do is use the Fiend Sanctuary to summon a token, and then I believe I can actually tribute this token off. I can just tribute it straight for Jack's Knight. That's probably, like, the best play I have right now. You know, and that's pretty sad. That's actually like the best play that I fucking have. Is just, you know, going neg on this play. But hey, it's stronger than his revival gem, right? So what does this do? This card destroy about so I pay thousand special summon face up the best position during your next time of his Alright, well he'll probably end up doing that. So can I kill the token? Yep. Alright, so he's gonna pay a thousand to go ahead and summon it back next turn, and uh, that's pretty much all I have right now, Merrick. So, if you wanna go ahead and wreck my steez, summon that fucking Winged Dragon Raw, then, uh, rip. Ripperonis, my boy. I wonder if he has, like, Sphere Mode. No, he's already going on defensive. Nice. So, I, I, like I said, I'm kinda questioning whether he has Sphere Mode or not, so actually he's not bad. So, I'm gonna go a little bit on the offensive. I can summon Queen's Knight, tech token. He might pay a thousand, he might not, I don't care. Uh, but I'm not gonna commit to three monsters, not against Merrick, because you already know that he'll probably want to go ahead and, you know, sphere mode me, Wing Dragon Raw style, so. Oh. What the fuck does that do? Alright, flip. Con take control of one face up monster. Your opponent controls one side of the field until the end of this turn. Wow, Merrick. Wow, that's such a good card. Get my card back. Like, wow. Wow. Like, if you could make it survive? I don't even, even then. Even then, it's not that great. I was like, maybe if you can make it survive? Oh, never mind. Oh, there goes my Queen's Knight. Hi, Queen's Knight. Hey, Soul Charge. That's not bad. It's just not good. And I got Magician of Faith, but there's really nothing for me to do faith-worthy. I mean, I can get my token back. Oh. Uh, attack, your bone takes any battle damage you would take. I don't even, I didn't read the card. Uh, I can't even scroll down. I guess I'm not hitting the details right. Um, 
Yeah, I guess my knight go ahead and kill. Never mind. Trap, uh, trap jam defender. So I attack the jam instead. And then he'll pay another thousand. Alright. Your opponent can really attack while you have rival jams. Just attack target to him. Okay. I'm fine with that. So, I mean, if you want to keep paying 1,000 to keep summoning that slime, you know, like, that's what you want to do, my boy. Now, the thing is, you can keep paying that down and keep summoning and, you know, bust out that Winged Dragon Raw, I'll be like, oh, shit, so, yeah, I still don't really have anything, so. Like I said, I believe I have to attack, yeah, Jam Defender, I have to attack the Jam. And pay another thousand? Sure, go ahead, Merrick. Thousand, 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 thousand. So, is it Winged Dragon Raw mode? Winged Dragon Raw time? Go ahead. Revival Jam will come back. That's three. And I'll be like, ah, oh, shit. Yep, yep, all three. Winged Dragon Raw. Oh, shit, motherfucker. Dad, damn. Yep. Alright, so let me read the guy right. It's been a cool man. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Look at the summer and this card. Summon, can't blah, blah. When this card's not summoning, okay, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you telling me this shit's not unaffected by card effects? Wing Dragon of Raw mode. Like, Wing Dragon of Raw, really? You're not unaffected by card effects? She kind of be unaffected by card effects, my boy. Like, wow. Wow. Wow, you took that L, Merrick. You took that L, my boy. Wow. Alright, well, that is, uh, that's game, Merrick. That is game. Never mind, never mind. He has the reflex line. Great. So, that big old booty, and I have no idea what to do with it. So, damage to a take by opponent. Then you're still going to pay 5,000 to destroy this card. Well, it sucks that he can't attack. Like, I could, like, I don't know, I don't know. Not really anything that I can do right now. Like, great, great, thank you, Metal Fox Slime. I, I should have I been able to end this duel, but you're like, nah, nah. <laughs> like, sure. So, um, like I said, it cannot, the token cannot attack, it sucks. Alright, let's, let's, let's try and win it for Joey. So I'm gonna tribute you talking. Yeah, I know. So, these two. Ah, red eyes. For Joey. And, uh... I think I'm good for now. Like I said, I could double up and do soul charge as well. That's, that's not a terrible idea. You know, double up summon Queen's Knight and that for only for only two thousand because you know I couldn't conduct my battle phase anyway. Uh, nice combination with Soul Exchange and Soul Charge. Soul, Soul, all the Soul. I got Soul. <laughs> so anything else, Merrick? Can I get like MST just to make sure I get this off? I need Dark Magician, girl. Like I guess. I guess that's really all I have to say about that. Like I guess. Oh, well, I guess I'll just. And hopefully end the door. Hopefully. Okay, and game? Or do you have yet another one? Nope, that's it! Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, the victory now. The victory. Like, why? Why is... Uh, it's like, you can't stop the summon of Raw. But Raw isn't unaffected by card effects. Like, he should probably be unaffected by card effects. But hey, hey. Master Merrick! Brother, please tell me you're alright! Merrick, it's over. Your evil side has been banished forever because he ran into a mirror force with an Egyptian god. Like, <laughs> it's it's finally over, my pharaoh. Yes, and the darkness has lifted from your heart. Merrick has overpowered that evil that controlled him for so long. My pharaoh, thank you. You saved mankind. We did. I wouldn't have been victorious if it hadn't been for all of you in that mirror force. <laughs> Pharaoh, rest assured that everyone who was banished to Shadow Realm by my dark side will return. No, I said that. That's the four kids version. The Shadow Realm means you're dead. But I guess they were like, hey, you know, we can't just kill off, you know, like Joey and Mai and shit. So, thank you. 
I have one more task to perform before my Tomb Keeper's mission is complete. Witness a secret to the Pharaoh's power inscribed on my back. These markings were passed down by my family from generation to generation for 5,000 years. We were taught that when the ancient Pharaoh saved the world from destruction, he wiped his own memory clean. But he knew that someday he would return and he needs his memory back. So he entrusted one family with his great, the greatest secret, the key to unlocking his mind and his power. Now that you will hold the three Egyptian god cards and the Millennium Puzzle, all you need to do is read the words on Merrick's back. So, <laughs> you're so close. Uh, yeah, it's called Back Knee, Back Knee, Back Knee, Back Knee, Back Knee. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's time for us to leave now, Pharaoh. So please take this. The Millennium Rod belongs with, with you, where it won't cause any more harm. Thank you, and take this as well. The Millennium Ring is safest with you. With Yugi now possessing all the Millennium items and the three Egyptian gods, he could now make sure the Shadow Games would never return. All right, and I guess that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Just the final duel. So we'll go ahead and save that for tomorrow's episode. So we are almost done, and by almost done, I mean, like I said, there's plenty of DLC before we hop into GX. Like I said, uh, hopefully either League will be back by then after we're done, either done with all the DLC, or we'll start and do something different. Whether that be Duel of the Roses, or um, League will be back, or hopefully I'll be able to live stream. Like I said, there's plenty of potential when it comes to content for the weekend, so look forward to it. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. I really do appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. More like see a duels with the final duel. We have the final face off. Now it's time for the final duel. And then we go backwards because like I said, we got duels, kingdom, extra duels, and then we got the dragon. So we are skipping all of that and going straight to the final duel. Yugi versus Crown next time tomorrow's video. All right. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Really do appreciate it. Hit that like button, subscribe button, bell for notifications. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.